To news out of Las Cruces now, a group of business owners in the area, they're trying to get an ordinance passed to help mitigate a panhandling issue throughout the city. Yeah, so panhandling is allowed in the city, right? But the group businesses for a safer Las Cruces wants the public to take a different approach when trying to help and they want to educate the community on other ways that they can support those asking for money on the streets, right? Absolutely. So really their goal is to just help make the city a safer place, supporting officials and also the police department. I spoke with them about their efforts Let's go ahead and take a look. Our concern is that a lot of these folks that are out just asking for money are harassing people at the parking lots at the grocery stores. Panhandling, a pretty common sight in Las Cruces. A lot of times you give us, us a homeless person money, they're not going to use it in the right way. Because of the issue, the group Businesses for a Safer Las Cruces is trying to get a no soliciting ordinance passed by city councilors. We don't want to criminalize homelessness. We don't want to criminalize owning shopping or stealing shopping carts. What we want to do is get them help. And the only way to do that is to educate our community. Educating the community not to donate to panhandlers, but to the charities and nonprofits that can help them. If we educate the community to not hand money out at the street corners, which is dangerous because people have been hurt, we can get them to give the money to the resources that are in Las Cruces, of which there are a multitude, give the money to the nonprofit so that the nonprofits can get the help to the folks that really need it. My photographer and I took the idea to the streets, asking Las Cruces what they thought. I feel for the people that are asking for money, but at the same time, I'm not sure that the money's going towards helping them. It maybe it keeps hurting them. Give the money to a charity. The charity's gonna say, here's food, here's clothing, here's shelter. Nicole Martinez is the executive director of the Mesilla Valley Community of Hope, a nonprofit that helps people like this who are experiencing homelessness or are on the brink of it. In a statement on behalf of the nonprofit about the group's efforts, she told me they appreciate the donations they receive from the community for client services, but also honor a person's personal decision and right to decide whether they want to donate to a person or entity like theirs. We want them to get help and try and assimilate back into society. But in that same instance, you have people coming here from out of state that are criminals, that are, you know, have a, a big criminal history. And because they see the opportunity of all the things that are here,